Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and Colin had his tonsils out today. I um, I mentioned it once before in another video, and I, it's so hard. Like, it, so let me just begin. Uh, we first started taking him to the doctor because he was making a sound like this. Forgive me as you endure it. <laughs> All right. So he was kind of clearing his throat. And, uh, you know, we took him to an ears, nose, and throat specialist. We took him to his family doctor, etc. cetera. And uh, three different doctors said that uh, he, his tonsils needed to come out. So my wife was like, well, his, his tonsils need to come out. That's the deal. And uh, um, I kind of just went along with it, right? Like, and, and it's terribly hard. <laughs> it's, you never know if you're doing this right or not. That's, that's what makes this such a challenge. Um, I, when I was a kid, when I was his age, I had a habit. And uh, again, disgusting noise, fair warning. I used to go like this, which is like making bubbles between my lips and my teeth. And I thought to myself, like, oh, you know, this is just him doing a parallel kind of weird thing like I did, you know, when I was about his age. And, uh, um, you know, but on the other hand, I have literally three different doctors telling me that, you know, he needs his tonsils out. And, you know, the truth is he gets sick more than his share. That That's part of the deal. Nice drop shot, dude. So um, I... Yeah, as a parent, like, I don't know, it, it's my nature to sort of second guess and, and see if things are okay. And uh, today was the day. Today was the day that Colin had his tonsils out because I and Jackie and three different doctors decided it was a good idea. And um, uh, also, I don't know if I said it, he's been sick a lot. You know, he, he gets sick and then he gets the rest of the family sick. And it's not that he's like sickly or anything like that. But he has more than his share of sinus infections, and that's one of the things that would make people get their tonsils out, even if they didn't have, you know, what could potentially be a bad habit or, um, you know, maybe as a result of really needing to clear his throat all the time. So uh, we woke up, or I guess we left the house at 6 a.m., you know, woke up before that, and you know, we went there. And the wait seemed like it lasted forever. And I took a couple vlogs, but I don't think I'm going to post them to my channel because I don't think people are, are psyched about it right now. But uh, Colin was awesome. Colin was incredibly good. He wasn't scared. Uh, he was, you know, in good spirits. He, he was adorable. He was loving. He was, you know, everything you'd hope that your kid would be headed into surgery. I was, you know, as strong as I could be on the outside and on the inside, feeling really uncomfortable with it. Uh, they told us that um, you know, they were going to take him back there. And he was like, you know, we'll take him back and then we'll put this uh, gas on his face. Like, you know, it's going to smell like bubble gum. We were all excited about that. And, you know, when I heard we... I thought I was included in that in that bunch. You know, my, my wife somehow knew that, that we weren't. But to me, it was like, you know, yeah, we. We're, we'll take them back. This sounds great. You know, what could go wrong? And uh, um, and then here's where I don't get a pay blow. <laughs> if I had one more bullet in that gun. So uh, uh, then when I they took him away from me, and I was like, what? No, no, I'll go back there. I'm going to hold his hand until he falls asleep. And... Um, they're like, no, you know, we'll take him back. It'll be fine. Don't worry. And it's like, no, no, no. You know, I want to, I wanted to hold his hand until he fell asleep, you know, while he breathed in the gas. And by all reports, uh, you know, he was fantastic. He wasn't scared. He took a couple of deep breaths, loved the bubble gun scent of the anesthesia. And then that was that. But, um, you know, for me, it, it was heartbreaking. And then I sat there in the lobby waiting for, it was really only like 30 minutes. And he, the doctor came out and said that he was fine, that he did fantastic, that he wasn't scared. He went out, the surgery was easy. And we're talking about removing tonsils for specialist, right? An ears, nose, and throat surgeon. Uh, there are a couple things in life that I'm good at. You know, it, like it's say computer programming. If you ask me to just print something to the screen, it's like, dude, yeah, this is going to go fine. This is, 
there's no risk here. I got this on lockdown. And um, I think that's where he is for removing a kid's tonsils. This is just, this doesn't represent a challenge for him. So, uh, and, you know, so predictably it went really well. He, he got his tonsils out and um, now he's recovering. And it sucks to see your kids in pain. Like, I hardly have words for what that feels like for me. <laughs> oh, what do you, it must be so hard that you see someone else in pain. That, that comes to mind, but, um, yeah. So, um, anyway, uh, he'll be good, I think. The next couple of, uh, of days, he's going to be recovering from this surgery. They say five days, and, you know, by day six, he'll be good as new. But I thought I'd share it with you. And, um, you know, Colin will be okay, I guess. If you enjoyed the video, please click like. If you want to see more from me, click subscribe in the top right.